all right hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel so in this video we want to look at uh, how to find the equation of the tangent and that of the normal of a given curve so you recall this diagram the tangent to a curve i said is a straight line that touches the curve at a point while the normal is now a, a line another straight line that is perpendicular to the tangent you can see this sign of perpendicularity all right so and we know by geometry that we are given that the equation of a straight line since both of them are straight lines the equation of a straight line have different types so we'd have the one y equal to m x plus c where m here stands for slope and then we have the one when you are given at a point if you want to form the equation of a straight line and you are given a point and in this case we are we have a point here so we want to call that point x1 y1 that's the point here and so what it means is that that equation is of the form y minus y1 equal to m being the slope multiplied by what x minus x1 okay so and this is the equation that helps us get the equation for tangent and so since your tangent sorry your slope for the tangent line is uh, given as dy dx so we are going to replace it with that so we have y minus y1 equal to dy dx then multiplied by x minus x1 so this one is for equation of a tangent why that of uh, the what you call it the normal is the reciprocal of this you can write it this way the only thing that will change in the equation is just the slope all right so let's go to some examples now now the first example here says that we should uh, find the equation of the tangent and normal to this curve here okay so the first thing to do is to find the slope of the tangent and that of the normal so you recall that when we have x squared minus y squared equal to 25 this is an implicit function so we try to differentiate by uh, implicit approach so this is going to give us 2x minus 2y dy dx and that is equal to if you differentiate this you will have zero and so if that's what we have then we make a dy dx a subject which is going to give us and so which means that our dy dx is simply equal to 2x all over 2y dividing both sides by this and when 2 cancel 2 you have x over y all right now but remember we said that you have to determine that slope at the point and so in that case it means that our mt which is the slope of the tangent is our dy dx and that is going to give us so anywhere we see x we call it 1 anywhere we see y we call it 2 so at this point we have gotten the slope of the tangent so the implication is that the equation of the tangent which is given as this equal to uh, dy dx x minus x1 so and what is our y1 in this in this question that is the 2 given here then equal to our dy dx we have gotten it as half and that's multiplied by x minus x1 our x1 is this s coordinate here which is 1 and that's going to give us y minus okay we multiply both sides by 2 so we have 2 into y minus 2 if you multiply here by 2 the half we go so we have x minus 1 and so this is going to give us 2 so if we take x to this side and take y to this or we take other things to this side and leave y alone that's going to give us and so if you divide through by 2 therefore our y is equal to x plus 3 all over 2 and that is the equation of the tangent and then uh, to get the equation for the normal slope of the normal is equal to minus 1 all over slope of tangent and that's going to give us minus 1 all over half so if you take this reciprocal you are going to get minus 2 okay so bring it into the equation y minus y1 into let me call it mn now being the slope of the normal then x minus 1 that's going to give us y minus 2 
to be equal to this we have gotten as negative 2 into x minus 1 and so this is going to give us uh, y alone is equal to if you open this bracket you have minus 2x therefore the equation for the normal is y equal to minus 2x plus 4 All right so let's look at the second example so the second example here says that we should find an equation for the tangent or on this point that's a tangent formed at this point on the curve given by this okay so we we'll begin by differentiating this so as to get our slope this is just for equation of tangent only and so if we differentiate y, 5 sorry y raised to power 5 we will get uh, 5 y raised to power of 4 plus uh, and then uh, sorry there, there will be the y the x here and then over here if we differentiate this we are going to have a product here so this is going to be uv all right so if we differentiate this we are going to have uh, 3x which is u then differentiating remember the formula if we differentiate v now we are going to get 2y dy dx and that is plus our v which is y squared multiply by the derivative of u the derivative of u is 6x and so that is plus so we are done with this then we come over here we differentiate that we are going to get 20x raised to power 3 and that's equal to 0 if you differentiate 9 and so from here we try to open the bracket that we have so we'll have this so if you bring out your dy dx here and take the whole of this to the other side that's going to give us dy dx so if we divide both sides by the coefficient here our dy dx becomes and so that means that the slope of our tangent which is going to be the evaluation of this at 1 comma 1 and that's anywhere we see x and y we put 1 so this is going to give us if you put 1 here you are still going to have minus 6 um, and if you put 1 here you are going to have minus 20 and that is over if you put one here you will have five and then plus six so it means your slope is equal to minus 26 all over 11 all right so bringing that into our equation we are going to have remember the equation is this and that's going to give us y minus one then equal to our mt is minus 26 over 11 into x minus 1 and so if you take uh, if you multiply through by 11 to remove the fraction you have 11 y minus 11 equal to minus 26 into x minus 1 and so if you finally open that term you are going to have 11 y is equal to this is going to give us minus 26 x plus 26 and then this minus 11 coming over here will become plus 11 therefore our equation is 11 y is equal to and that is our solution you can actually take everything here to the other side um, or you can leave it this way okay so let's look at the next example here it says that this question is a little bit different it's asking that a tangent of a curve this this is a curve at this point p the point is not given is parallel to another line so that we should find the coordinate we should find this point that is not given if the tangent is formed at that point so what does it mean for two lines to be parallel if two lines are parallel it means that they have the same uh, slope so the implication is that if we take the derivative of this whatever we get as the slope will also be equal to the slope here so in that case let's differentiate the first function so we we'll have that dy dx for the first function is equal to 4x minus 1 that's differentiating this okay and so we can call this equation 1 and so if we differentiate the second one you are going to have that dy dx there will be equal to 3 and so we can call this equation 2 
And so if you are saying that uh, the slope here is equal to the slope here, what it means is that 4x minus 1 must be equal to what? 3. And so whatever, if we solve this equation now, whatever we get as our x will be the x coordinate of the point where that tangent was formed. And so that's going to give us 4x is equal to 3 plus 1, which is 4. And so our x alone is equal to 1. So we have gotten the x coordinate. So how do we then get the y? You come back to the function. The function says that, uh, so we substitute x here. And that's going to give us 2 into 1 squared minus 1 plus 1. So this will take away this. And so your y is equal to 2 if you evaluate this. So our p point p x y is actually equal to 1 comma 2. All right. And then the second part of the question says that we should then find the equation of the normal at the point. Okay, so how do we find the equation of the normal? We first of all find the slope of the normal. Remember that the slope of the normal is minus 1 all over the slope of the tangent. And we already got the slope of the tangent here to be 3. So that means the slope of the normal will be minus 1 all over 3. And so if you put that into our formula always remember this formula that's going to give us y minus y equal to the slope which is minus 1 over 3 into x minus 1 and so finally here multiply through by 3 you are going to have 3y minus 6 equal to 3 will take away this so you have only minus 1 minus 1 times x is minus x times 1 is the uh, plus 1. So I want to take the variables to this side. So I'm going to have 3y, if s comes here, it becomes plus x, equal to 1. 6 coming here will become plus 6, and that will give me 7. So this is also another way of writing any equation. All right, and that's where we'll end it for this video. Kindly please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like, share, and comment on our YouTube videos. You can also find related topics to this particular concept in our description below see you in our next video bye